as I've said in previous uh, videos, the editing on the guide eye side of the fan and control is pretty useful, and I think it's underused. Um, a lot of people get used to the uh, search, the way that we search for things using the up and down arrows, just by typing in something using the up and down arrows. So we get used to that method. Um, but when we're using guide eye, it is slightly different. So what you do on guide eye is you type in whatever it is uh, you want to search for. So if I type in there G0, and then I'll just click search, and it searches down, or it searches up. And that stays in. So if I, if I go on to edit something um, along here, and then I'll just press this search feature again, it still searches for the same thing. So whatever I put in there, if I put G50, sorry, if I put G53, for example, there, and then I could search for G53, I can search, search, so I can search up and down, and that, as I say, stays in there uh, for me to find. So that's the search feature, so that's there and there. And you'll note down here it does say what it's remembered. To be honest with you, I've only just noticed that, just down this bottom here. So if I say um, G81 and then click search, you'll see how it's gone down there, G81. So it remembers what you've searched and it's down there uh, for you to see. So that's the search. Um, another interesting thing is the... Uh, what we call the key paste or key PST or whatever they call it that's good to use for things like this if you like this spot drill if I need to change that I just press this key paste now that's put it down there now the thing to note now is I can't use insert alter and delete because that would just uh, mess this up completely. All I can use is my left and right arrow keys. So I can use my left and my right arrow keys to go back and forward along this thing. And I can use my cancel key um, to, to uh, cancel anything. So I can go along here and it cancels after the bit that's blue. So where that bracket is now, if I now click cancel, it'll click the anything after that. So you've got to be very careful when you're moving around this um, how you actually um, how you actually type it in. It just takes a bit of getting used to really. Like, I like that, I've just done that wrong. So if I go to where that bracket is, this will now go in front of that bracket. So you've just got to play around with this and get used to it. But it's really annoying if you accidentally go to delete a character or something like that. It just deletes whatever is up there in yellow and you just lose everything so you've then got to say if I wanted to make this into something like say 12 millimeters I'll go 12 millimeters and then um, put a space in there so I'm going to go um, I'm going to put a space in there Where's the fucking shift key? Oh yeah, so then I'm going to go shift and then SP. Let's put my space in. And then all I do then is just click my alter key. So I'm going to go uh, alter and that's changed it. So this key paste will put whatever's up there down on that buffer. So if you do that, for example, you get the whole line down there. And you can just go along and change anything in that line down here. But as I say, don't touch the insert, alter and delete until you actually want to send it up the top there into the program. All you can use here is your left and right arrows and your cancel key. So that key, key paste is quite useful. Main use for key paste is really brackets because otherwise you've got to go into that bracket and just rewrite everything. And then the other thing I want to talk about is the replace. So the way that works let's just click on um, replace, REPL replace there and we write in what what it is we want to change so if I was to say for example G54 and I input that 
and I want to change it to G55 and I import that. Now what will happen now is my search keys will search for the next incidence of that. So it searches for that and I, I can either replace it or just go on to the next one. So if I don't want to do it I just go on to the next one. So it just says no more found. So all I do there is I just say yes I want to replace that one. Back up. Yes I want to replace that one. Yes I want to replace that one. Yes I want to replace that one. And then it says it's not found anymore. So I can search and search. There's no more. And I can close that. So that's how I replace it. Let's just have another look at that. Just so we know exactly what we're doing. I'm going to go to the top. I'm going to say um, replace and I want to replace G55 input with G54 input and I want to do all of them and he just asked me are you sure you want to do this well yes I'm sure and that's now done every one so all my G55s are now gone to G54 so I've got a choice of doing all of them or doing them individually and I use that search key to take me up and down so it is good it's just that it's different to what we're used to if we're used to working on the other side on the fan control with search and with find and replace they work slightly different but the thing with these is to persevere with them and um, you'll get used to them and you'll just you'll just find them actually better when you've done it